Hello, welcome to Black Mind Podcast. My name is Jeff. Joining me this week is uh, Alan. Me. Radiated. I'm not going to let you fucking <laughs> r- uh, wreck it by fucking calling me a small man again, you piece of shit. Me and puny human. Joining ass. us this week is very tall human. Thank you. That is that is that is how I like to be known. In a dress. Very tall human. In a dress. In a dress. Very, Very tall, tall human in a dress. Okay, I can barely hear you. Where where did the dress thing come from? Uh, the dress thing came from from me just saying that you being like very happy with it. So I decided that you should not be happy with it. Jeff, why, this is why I bullied you. <laughs> yeah. <That's fair. laughs> God damn it. God, I know you're asking it. for a swirly nerd. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> Take a shot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Does he like the swirlies now? Do you? Do you just like? Yeah, yeah, I, I, would, I wouldn't be the surprised if Jeff needs. got turned on by getting swirly. Uh, uh. Also joining me this week is Josh. Hi, Josh. Hey. Josh is the constant that this podcast needs. Yeah. Is he the constant? Because, like, I feel like he's not. Well, I'm not the constant, I, and you're not the I, constant. I'm trying to be here as much as I can, if I don't forget. Well, I, don't th- I, d- I don't think it's, like, a, a competition of, like, uh, attendance. Because I'm pretty sure Jeff would take that, given that it is, you know, his show. Is it my show? <laughs> I don't know. I it's, is, is it your my show? show? <laughs> Whose show is this? It's everyone's show. Are we show. just a bunch of crazy people, like, sitting in a fucking, uh, like, padded cell in the insane asylum, yes. rocking back and forth with our stretch jackets, pretending to have a podcast? Probably. Oh, man, that's crazy. I mean, I feel like if that crazy. were the case, as a crazy person, I should have crazier uh, delusions than this. That sounds like a, a, a first, uh, that sounds like a mistake to believe that, because that's assuming that we're all crazy, and, uh... That, that assumption should be correct because we are crazy. Yeah. We live in a crazy world. No, I'm not crazy. You're all crazy. That sounds I'm like something that a crazy normal. person would say. <laughs> exactly. That was the joke, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What the fuck are we talking about on this show? I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. What, want to talk about the Steam sale and how it's total trash oh, yes. fire this year? Such a trash it? fire. They completely fucked over the race. So the race, <laughs> so okay, so the, the the stupid Steam sale for the summer this year is called the Grand Prix, Grand, Grand Prix. Prix. I call yeah. it Prix. The Grand, <laughs> but, uh, the Grand Prix. I don't understand their yep. Europeans and they're putting X's in in in, in words. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't understand them putting X's in words, so I just pronounce them as they fucking. <laughs> as the Grand they fucking Prix, right? Spell it. Go Grand Prix. Yes. Mm-hmm. No yeah. So, pricks. so the dumb thing that's happening in this is that so you can pick a team when you log in, you get to the store. They're like, hey, the, the Grand Prix, go pick a team. <laughs> uh, so you're like, oh, pick one of these five. And I think, it, yeah, it's five. So it's there's team hair, team cocktail or yeah, cockatiel, oh, oh, tortoise, okay. <laughs> tortoise, pig and corgi. So. Obviously, when people were picking their teams, they picked Corgi because that's very internet hot right now, and it's adorable. So who doesn't want to be Team Goddamn Corgi? So everyone just picked Corgi over and over to the point that Corgi won three straight days in a row. Okay. <laughs> so the, like we're <laughs> dead, dead, like always first place, and it doesn't help anyone else. They freaking start fiddling with the numbers, and now they made everyone else start having a chance. But for some reason, Team Corgi is like dead last, like always. Yeah. It's like that still doesn't, doesn't, even if you're fudging the numbers, it still doesn't look good. Yeah. Should have yep. picked Corgi's like, name. Should have just been like dog or something. You picked the meme animal, the meme animal that's hot yeah. right now. Exactly. A meme animal that people have adopted because it's hot right now, and they don't, they don't know how to look after pets, so they die. Yeah, uh, as, well, oh, as well as because of the new Pokemon that has also been a thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's then a Corgi. There's... Oh, there's now a Corgi. Is there? I don't know. The only ones I care about are Gutsbird and and Sif. 
Yeah. Nothing else I like matters. How, I like that. I like how Pokemon that's how doesn't mean. matter. Fuck Pokemon. I like how that's, I love the fact that's how mean you have referred to those from now on is Sif. Like I saw the picture for the new legendary and I was like Sif. That, I don't it's care. Sif, it's actually yeah. it, it's Sif. And then I saw the bird and I was like, that looks like guts. <laughs> guts, bird, and Sif are the only yep. things that matter. <laughs> yeah, which is great also, because apparently they'll actually be in that game, unlike all the other Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yep. Uh, well, that's a whole I think other. We already talked about that last week. Yes, yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pokemon Company needs to get off their fucking asses and make a goddamn game. They need to like make their own. <laughs> Coasting on the popularity of of Pokemon for years. Fucking make a new game. No, I refuse. <laughs> okay, Pokemon <laughs> Company, Jeff. Uh, actually, what makes it really funny is um, they announced a new game uh, this week called Pokemon Masters. It's a mobile game. I okay, so I don't have to care. Yep, uh, it's basically uh, you know how you complain about that one game. Uh, Which one? Fi Fire Emblem um, Heroes. Oh, the, Fire. Yes. And in fact, I'm bitched about it like at length uh, on this last podcast. It's legit like that. It's legit. Uh, so every, it's a like, gotcha game. Okay. So it's completely worthless and devoid of all. Uh, I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's a gotcha game. I think it's a. Because what it shows is every trainer has one Pokemon, um, and when you defeat a set of trainers, you get to add a trainer from that group to your roster. I think that's the, what the what the implication is from the trailer that I saw. But, I mean, um, given given how like Pokemon games work, fucking like a phone might be like an okay place to put them. Yeah, Pokemon games aren't complicated. Uh, apparently, apparently they are considering what's going on with fucking Sword and Shield. What do you mean? What's going What's going on with that? So, uh, I actually got a a buddy of mine actually saw some like footage for the demo footage from at, at E three. Okay. And like, like you know how demo footage can be. It can be incredibly inconsistent or incredibly like good, that kind of stuff. Okay, so what's the problem? Is is Game Freak had their previous venture onto the Switch with Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eve, and they're taking their same mechanic of the Pokemon are spawning on the real world, which I'm kind of iffy about. But but this demo is supposed to be like a six month out project. Meaning six months till release, not mm -hmm. a bad. Not not that should mean it should be seeing something good, or at least nothing like super sketchy or problematic. The uh, the constant the consistent problem was textures wouldn't load, animations wouldn't play, animations would play but out of sync, and uh, attack animations wouldn't happen. Um, characters would suddenly just die. T pose across the screen. Um, okay, Josh, we'll still would buy pop. it. Uh, uh, we'll buy five copies. Yeah, well, I'm probably still buying it, but I don't know. I'll buy it. Um, and the I won't. other, uh, fuck him. Well, <laughs> fuck him. You still want Make guts a game that's worth playing, not the same one you've been making for the last 15 years. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and of course the situation with the whole there's no national decks in this one. Yeah, I wonder what's We're going too on. Poor to put all the Pokemon we've invented into this game. Never mind that we're one of the most successful franchises on Earth. We just can't do it. Yeah. Hire more people. Fuck no. you. You've got the and, money. And, uh, and on top of it, like, because like, recently what Nintendo said is that, yeah, no, we're, we're letting companies like declare they need to declare delays that in case, so that people like who still work for us have like home lives and stuff like that. That's what they've been in those big push. At yeah, E3 okay. Maybe year. also don't make it a goddamn was, yearly my, series. You my, did this like I know, and this is my next comment when I heard that. It's like Pokemon S Sword and Shield needs a one year delay because if because they're jumping on from handhelds to console, which shouldn't be that big of a jump, but it's a console that is fucking gimmicky as fuck. And the other problem for me is the fact that the graphics don't seem up to snuff because we've already seen what the Switch can do. Breath of the Wild quietly flexing in the corner. Mario it's Odyssey, like, Smash Bros. Mario Odyssey, Smash Bros. Like, these are like actually some visually st stunning games. And then you look at Pokemon's gameplay and you're like, what? Yeah, no. 
It's uh, it's a fucking travesty. <laughs> oh, delay it for oh, like. You know what? Are the, uh, this might be like this might be years. the first. I Dude. think that uh, this might be one of the first. Uh, um, Pokemon I feel games like that, Pokemon needs to experience failure for uh, it to uh, evolve. It needs to feel a uh, needs to feel a fa- uh, experience of failure. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you don't want to add salt in the wounds with this whole thing. Uh, they end. Uh, they put out a. Uh, what was a letter to the fans yes, or some in shit? response to the uh, National Pokedex thing. Yeah, From and they're like, Maximoto? and they're like, don't. It's basically all they did is reiterated what they said before, and it's like this doesn't this doesn't help you morons. This actually, like, and this is the reason why I'm wondering if Game Freak is out of touch with their fans. Yeah, absolutely. They're I out think of they touch are. With reality. I think they. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, well, of course. Think about the, it. They're acting like it's now. still the goddamn nineties. Um, but the thing is, um. But we do know, like, for the fact that um, what happens with uh, with Game Freak right now is with what they said is, yeah, no, we want to make the game evolve. And, we want, and that's the entire point of the series is to continuously progress forward. But we know we're not getting Megas. We know we're not getting Z-Moves. You know, the two big staples of the last of the last two generations. Megas we're just going to blow the model up instead. Yeah, I was. We can't I, finish. We can't finish models for all the Pokemon. We're not going to add new ones. Are you crazy? No, I, we're just going to make uh-huh. them bigger. <laughs> I, I saw that. I heard that, and I was like, "Oh, stop!" Um, <laughs> yeah, can I just interject very with, quickly? Does it seem like Game Freak actually like it. is kind of like? Because like I'm just saying this as like a fan of Pokemon, not like a diehard fan like Josh. But does it just seem like Game Freak is needing a failure? Because they've succeeded on almost every single and game so, since. Well, that's, and, that's, what, that's what Rory just said. Is. Yeah. And the only, the like, only game I, they... I, I feel, no, I feel like, okay, so it's not Game Freak specifically. Well, I mean, Game Streak is, like, very explicitly stuck in the past in terms of how their games developed. But I feel like Pokemon, the series, needs to have a failure of sales in order for Nintendo to really, you know... Push the screws in. Fucking get on their ass with, like, fixing it. Because I feel like Game Freak is just the... Like, I have no evidence to back this up. But, like, who... What are... What's what's the staff at Game Freak been like over, the like, the past two decades? Has it changed Uh, at uh, all? We we, we do know that they have one of the... We do know that they have the original design artist still there from, like, the very first game. Like, he's still there. He's head to lead lead of design. Mm -hmm. Um, We know that... Have the people made me who have making Pokemon which I would say has been the same game for, like, the past at least 15 years. Uh, you mean since Ruby well, and Sapphire, pretty yeah. much, pretty much, which is wrong. Uh, even even further back, man, like, sure, they added well, no, a load they, of new they, shit. They changed a, lot of mecha- they changed a lot of mechanics between Gen 1 and 2. They did, but it's still the same core battle system, the same view, the same sort of, like, Pokemon F4 moves. You go through, you beat the Elite Four, etc. Or, or, or the gym leaders in the Elite Four. Or the uh, Kahunas, which are effectively the same thing. Whatever you whatever you want to call them. The yeah, gameplay so, has not evolved over the past two... two well, like, the they, core, they game, try, the core they, they, gameplay they, they, loop has I, not I, changed. I will, admit, I will admit with the Kahunas, they did try to change how the mechanical system worked with that, with the idea of trials, and we're all like, this is a dumb mechanic. And they're, they did for... Two games. What, were, what, so what differentiated the mood. trials from and, like? Well, the fact that like the fact that they had like other si- stuff related to them, like going okay, around. Okay, so what did fight, you have to do other than fight, fighting? Like a, uh, yeah. Um, what, what did you have to do other than fighting? Was it just puzzles? Because yeah. the gyms had those. Yeah, they, I know we had puzzles, but that was it. I, I, like, okay, so were, it was just the gyms by a different yeah. name. Yeah. Uh, but the thing was, is they weren't as satisfying. It's, as not, it's because... not fucking different. It's just oh, a no. different label. Oh, no. the no, same no. You, know, you, 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 know, you know what the big difference is? The gyms actually had other trainers there. So you actually had to battle and do puzzles. Whereas trials, it would be either a battle or a puzzle. One or the other. So there's less content. That's the reason why I think they're going back to the gyms. So I, <laughs> like, I, this, this big mechanic that we're trying to evolve the game with, we're not going to use again. That's the reason why like, I, I want Game Freak. I, I I love them dearly. I, I really do. I really do think like I have no problem with the old Pokemon formula. I, I actually really don't. Um, but the way that they're changing Sword and Shield makes me really concerned to the point where I'm like putting my hands up, going, "Hold up, slow down, explain to me what's going on," because it feels like a, like we're going to be dealing with like a game that might be half baked. 
Because because the way it makes it seem. I feel like they... okay. I feel like Game Freak. Yeah, I feel like that's a legitimate turn because Game Freak is a company that is out of touch as a subsidiary of a larger company, i.e. Pokemon. Nintendo. No, Nintendo. Oh. That is no, no, also no, out no. of touch. The, po- the Pokemon company is actually a step yes, below Yes, also that's a third company free. thing, and it's very complicated business stuff that I don't really understand. It doesn't make a lot of sense, and I can't imagine it helps with the development of the game either. No. Well, but, like... Can I... Yeah. No, I mean, there is... There, there, hmm? Well, well okay. I was just going to say, like, would you either of you guys, like, take just the sprite art? Again, I wouldn't. I, I like the new. I like the 3D. I really do. I don't like the mechanic of Pokemon appearing on the world, and that's how you find them. I actually don't like that mechanic because, uh, from what I, because I actually watched somebody play through. Let's go Pikachu and let's go eat. And because when you're shiny hunting, you have to stay in an area for long and get them to spawn and do stuff like that. Eventually, there's no spawn limit. So that just chews up RAM as more Pokemon spawn on screen. And they all have their little animations while they're on screen. And there's multiple types on screen. And there's multiple of each type on the screen. So you could, like, up, uh, I think around 20 Pokemon, the game starts to lag. And that might seem like a lot until you realize that, no, that, that that's not a lot. That's 20 in, on screen. And on top of that, they do load other Pokemon in the area off screen, too. So that when you move off that screen, it isn't like a snap load, snap load, snap load. It's they're already there. The area is loaded, and these ad, they, they're just pixel pointed. So it's ramp, more ramp shoot up there. Okay. And the game lags, and lags to the point where it almost becomes unplayable. And on top of that, if I you mean, do they've find had shiny, that problem, they've had that problem since X and Y with the f- fucking frame rate stuttering that that game that, had. That that's also because that was with their first real jump what? over to 3D. And I, yeah, yeah, that, that, that that's what, but that's that the thing. That they, yeah, they they fucking future proof their models by making them way too big for the fucking 3ds to handle at that at that point. But apparently, that's still not good enough for this game now. Yeah, I think but that's why now, everyone. Is... That's the reason why I'm asking. Would you be okay with sprites? Because something has to give here. And it... Oh, I know. I th- well, I don't think something has, has to give here. I think they need to allocate me- more resources to the Pokemon team or update their infrastructure because it's too fucking old. Yeah, I can agree with. I mean, I I'm also coming from the perspective of someone who like, because Alan's are uh, like seems seems to have the biggest problems with that, that that he doesn't like that the fact that there are Pokemon on the map and that the the game is stuttering. Whereas I'm uh, I'm he- uh, sitting here coming up from a perspective I feel of a uh, of I think the entire fucking philosophy. Of the Pokemon games should change entirely. I agree. I think that I I, th- I think like yeah. a bare bones, like very simple battle system uh, that you follow a, a bare bones plot through is. I would I, I would ra- I, long I, si- that, that like yeah. the, the the time that that kind of sort of game is acceptable is long since past. It's too simple. I would agree. I would actually like to see more capable story and probably some more better mechanics. Yeah. Well, but at the same time, Pokemon like... should be a character action game at this point. Okay, can I? Yeah. Can we just get Josh? I want. A... I want. I want an open world Pokemon. Oh fuck off! That would be kind of cool. I'm just gonna fuck off. I'm just gonna get Josh's opinion, dude. If I could run around as Garchomp from Poke uh, Pokemon in like a Pokemon game, fucking, I would buy that. Man, you would level up so fast. Kick the just murdering shit out things. of people. Yeah, no, it'd be sick. <laughs> You do some it, fucking the, sick uh, ass murders. Officer Joy comes out of nowhere and it's like, "Hey, you're really wrecking the Officer fucking city. Joy? Do you mind stopping?" And <laughs> no, Officer, no, what's her Officer name? Officer Jenny. Jenny. It's Nurse God, Joy. Sorry. Fucking I haven't seen the that. anime in forever. <laughs> Come on. Did you not anyway. have a childhood? I watched it, but I forgot the, so much. The, the okay. childhood memory has been like deleted, so that you could fit more uh, naked no, no. paintings. It's, in. it's been it's been suppressed. That's the word you're looking for. Yeah, it's there been we go. bludgeoned suppressed. into the dirt with dick pics. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, uh, just of a bunch course. of nudie pics. As always. <laughs> 
but uh yeah like i guess jeff said trying to say originally i was like what's my point of view on this whole thing and i'm like yeah i agree like they need a failure they need a restructure (laughs) so badly to the point of like (laughs) if game freak is just reiterating what they said before and thinking it's better you're you're so that's, out of touch that's that a pretty I want good philosophy for the games as well <laughs> they're yeah, just restating yeah, what they apparently. did before and thinking that's good enough yeah no shit they do that <laughs> like, for press they do it for their games all the time oh god fucking christ holy shit that's like <laughs> like they're man i i kind of hope when this game comes out They'd be like, oh, it's sold, but it's sold so much less than what he, that they expected that I hope it shocks them in some degree. Like, it makes them want to do better, but I'm not sure if it's going to do. I'm not like it's again. Pokemon is still pretty hot. People still buy the Pokemon, but it's like I man, I'm not, how big of a failure do they need? I just hope that it doesn't like completely kill them. Although they have so much money, I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, no, like it would take like fucking i think on like the current budgets the games are made on like it would take like 10 fucking stinkers for them to shut the thing down that that game can dip in sales for a long time before they axe it yeah or even even, uh or another thing that could also be really important to think is um even if let's say let's say that uh sword and shield are next fail are actually a failure where they're just they, they they don't like, like colossal like, failure. Not colossal. I'm not gonna say colossal failure. I, I, like, like, they, they can't be at this point. People, I like yeah. too many people have yeah, already pre-ordered I mean, it's, the it's, game. It's, it's because people still not, haven't learned to stop pre-ordering video games. Uh, uh, ironically, I'm not pre-ordering this one. Um, I'm going. If I am buying it, it will be. If I am going to be like getting it, it to be day of or a couple days after. Um, because I still need to switch. Hey. Uh, but the problem is with how they've done their, like, I don't think they need a complete restructuring, but I do agree with like what Rory says. They do need to rebalance some of the, like the battle mechanics. They do need to rework the, I think they need to world. just throw it away and, and like, like and I need, I, I, think I think they I th- need to uh, revolutionize it. I think vast sweeping changes need to be making made to the Pokemon formula to make it interesting. I think a lot of people who like actively play Pokemon will probably be disagree with me on that though. Uh, because yeah. they like something that they've been like people these sort of the, those are the sort of people who who have in fact been playing for the past two decades and are willing to just eat the same uh, I do meal every I got day my in their lives. Crashed. No, you're still yeah, here. Jeff, this is where my internet no, crashed. You're still here. Jeff, this is where my internet crashed. Or- uh, where my internet crashed no no it did uh, not crash awesome I think, okay. I, I, yeah. I, I want, I, alan were you conscious of the fact that every time uh, you said that you were cutting jeff yeah. off <laughs> no i, I did it i heard <laughs> no to like nothing from you guys oh, okay. so i was like you i was really hoping something. you were you were saying something and then suddenly uh, like I, I heard silence and i was just like okay this is where like the like because i'm just like this has happened before in the podcast where you haven't heard this but there have been like four times where my like, like in one podcast where the internet just kept cutting out on me, and I was just like, "Cool." Um, so every time it cuts out, no, and I just say that so Jeff knows where to delete my. Video. I just start <laughs> screaming so the podcast can't continue without me. Pretty much, pretty much, <laughs> kind of what it feels like. Oh, uh, poor Jeff! No. I feel hurt. you deserve Sorry, it for go, sassing go, me go, at the beginning go, of the podcast. Uh, go for it, Jeff. See- Say shit, I, I was please. just gonna say that. Um, I was just gonna say that I'm really getting sick and tired of everyone bitching about Pokemon Sword and Shield because I honestly don't give two shits. And sorry, you cut out there, but I assume you you just don't give talk, a fuck about Sword and Shield. Don't give a shit about yeah. Sword and Shield. That's sort of what I parsed. I, yeah. If, if the ga- like, here's the here's my barometer: is if Josh is sitting there and not complaining about it, I will buy it. Yeah, you know what? If I don't complain about it, then it's going to be like, yeah, it's pretty decent. Sings, but if, if Josh I'm, doesn't complain about off. it, he can force you to waste your money. <laughs> See, here's the thing is I have a backup, and then I have a backup to the backups. Uh, Do you have more I should Pokemon have a backup, hardcore but, uh, nerds that you know? Yeah, I know a lot of hardcore Pokemon nerds. Yeah, that's fair. There's a lot of them out there. Oh, it's offensive. I don't know, yeah. dude. I won't. Like the even if even if someone who's like into a game franchise, uh, or like, I don't know. I I, I suppose I just sort of don't understand that like level of logic of 
oh, this person I know thinks it's good, so I I also need to pick it up and give it a try. I feel like doing your own research should suffice in most situations, especially since I imagine you can't actually because you did, you were you were talking about this sort of with um, Final Fantasy fourteen as well. Yeah. Uh, how you were thinking about giving that a try because you've got you know a lot of people who are getting into it uh, presumably because of uh, Shadowbringers coming out, which actually dropped uh, as of today. Did it drop today? I thought it dropped tomorrow. No, it dropped uh, no, today, it dropped, and Leslie today has been punching me in the dick for it. Okay, pre that. Okay, yeah, that's a, yeah. I think it, it comes up in a little while, like a, a little while after for people who who didn't. But uh, I, I haven't gotten to it yet. I'm still in storm. Can, can I talk a little bit uh, about that for 20 minutes? What, Final yeah. Fantasy? Fuck Final yeah. Fantasy is really good. I, I can actually. Yeah. Huh? Oh, have you started yes. playing it? That's what I, I was asking you in your Discord earlier, but I think that other guy thought I was talking to him and just started conversation. And then I was just like, oh, I don't know this person. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you could have made a new friend. No. Oh, no, no, that's the guy. That's the guy who tried to argue that Doom was a bad game because he didn't talk to anyone who liked it. <laughs> I don't want to make what? friends with Which that guy? guy. Wait, who? who? Who's who's this uh, again? Should I share? Well, I mean, I can probably say his Discord name on the podcast. Uh, you you can always yeah. cut it out if it's if it's not cool with that guy. Smile and sloth. No, it's not not Shane. Oh no, that's Leslie, my friend. Uh, okay, yeah. What? What what is wrong with your friend, Josh? He's from a very different planet, Bullshit. I'll tell you. He he's from a different universe. <laughs> different reality. How does he think Doom is bad? So is lesbian what girlfriend the fuck is to be wrong fair. with him. I'm offended. Like, you have no idea. I, I'm, 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 I'm glad I'll Alan tell you right now. was incensed with the same rage I felt. Because I like when 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 I when I started talking uh, to your friend over Discord about that, I would like I was like, all right, listen up, motherfucker. I typed out an entire angry rant, and then I was like, I don't know this person. To be fair, they don't know who I am as a person. I'm gonna edit this so it sounds way calmer and more logical. So I did that, and I never got a response. So, <laughs> but at least I didn't so... embarrass myself by acting like an asshole. So I'm gonna say something right now. <laughs> you know that friend I had who basically sent me through the mental stringer a few months ago. Uh, no. Josh and Alan uh, know who it is. Uh, my friend who's going through the thing with the thing involving the thing. Yeah, okay. Yes, we know this. He, he sat there and but said, anyway, continue. Was sucked. And I wanted to kill him. Like, I really wanted to punch him in the throat. It's. Uh, Some people just have terminally I, wrong opinions. This is fact. Well, like. Yeah, or, or just people just can't get over the violence part of it or some shit. But I mean, that make that it's more it's more of, again, like a, just a different point of view entirely that we just <laughs> we the people that like the game go just can't wrap our heads around it just because, because it's like, but it's good. I don't understand it. It's like, well, hey, they have their own view on it. It's just that we just can't see. Or we could try to understand at least. I, I just said he's wrong and called him an like, idiot to his face, and that was the best solution I could come up with. Which one? Uh, oh, the person you were arguing with. Yeah, here it was. I'm still I'm still mad about this, so I'm gonna bring it up. It was, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna insult your friend through you, Josh. I, <laughs> you I, talk about how like no, no, oh no, man, Doom me, is like me, Duke Nukem. We shouldn't me. bring it back. We should let old no, games. Me. I, we should I let old games die. I, so I've again I, I I hang out with Mr. Smiling Sloth for a good chunk of time because he lives in the same town as mm -hmm. I do, and I, it tries, I hear a bunch of his opinions, and I, I tell you that it's from a very different point of view, <laughs> and just Why? completely Why? Wrong, wrong point of view. <laughs> Hold on. No. <laughs> it's just that he has a different, different life experiences. meter in which he measures things and which 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 to himself has value for. Okay, sure. I'm I okay. Uh I'm not gonna actually like push like insulting this person I don't know. Yeah, but I mean I cannot it's understandable. But I'm just gonna throw out there that they thought Doom I, I was can, made by I can Bioware. Get a, <laughs> Because I am I'm a person who uh. doesn't really get into arguments, <laughs> but when he ever says his point of views, I'm like, dude, seriously? 
Really? I, know. I, like, the, I mean, the thing that triggered me was that the, the initial comment uh, like implied that Doom was made by Bioware. Oh yes. And I'm like, <laughs> we all know Doom was made you're by gonna Better sit Studio. There and tell me I'm wrong when you have no idea oh, what you're talking no. about. That that's oh, what dear. incensed my rage. I'm just trying to find. I'm trying oh, to find. Oh boy. This. But no, I was very polite after that. I remember that. Yes. Or at least. Polite okay. enough. I'm trying to f find this <laughs> post because it was uh... polite by my metrics. It's in the the general chat of your Discord. It's way up there. You'll find it when you see like me post an entire paragraph as well as like uh, a link to. Oh yes, I found the it. Doom uh, wiki article. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Well, you don't have to read the whole thing out. No, I'm just gonna read. Thought it was Bioware. Oh, God, that makes He's... you sound really guilty, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, he thought it was Bioware. I don't know, it's not as bad as lesbian girlfriends saying they're not understanding that other people have differing opinions. Whoa, sounds like someone's got wrong opinions. Apparently I do. You know, if this podcast ever fails, you could make another one called Wrong Opinions. I could. I could. You could say whatever the fuck you wanted on it, and then if people got mad, you could be like, where the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Bitch! That will be the spinoff show. <laughs> Wrong it, will, it will be the spinoff show. It will. Oh, it God. will have game uh, designers from Edmonton on it, and what it will be is just us talking about shit, shooting the shit for twenty minutes. And then I'll sit there and say, so like you can be the most wrong. Uh, you can say any word you want. You can say the N word, and I won't care. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to say the N-word on this podcast right now. <gasps> Nickelback! Man, I'm so offended. <laughs> Look at this graph! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Look at this graph! <laughs> oh, man. I love when we talk about dead memes on this podcast. So, <laughs> dead, dead, dead memes? You mean like bruh? So, so yeah, I've been playing Final Fuck. Fantasy fourteen, and that's a good I exclusively communicate through dead memes. Yeah, sorry, yeah, Final Fantasy. <laughs> uh, that game is good, and oh, I need to play it. more of it. Word my internet's cutting out again, so just keep going. Yeah, how far did you get I'm into it? I'm level 11 right now. Okay, so you are a small, tiny baby. What did you start out with? Uh, Archer. I'm an elven archer. Oh, okay. Gross. You say that like I did a bad. <laughs> playing bard? <laughs> What? You slut. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I just, I've, just, I've just been, I've just sort of like uh, trained myself to make fun of uh, okay. Bard and by extension Archer because uh, that is what Zip plays. Of course. Uh, of course you would. And I, I, I shit on him. I also, I also compulsively shit on anyone who plays healer. Because healers aren't people. <sighs> no, they're really monsters. Um, yeah. That game is really fun. It's more fun than Destiny. I didn't think I would say that. I, I am shocked by how much how much I'm enjoying it because I'm really not an MMO guy. Like I've played through a lot of MMOs. Uh, I would play it or at now. least I played a lot of MMOs. I would play it now because it's something I think I could do while podcasting of just playing Final Fantasy. But. I'm working on something else right now, so I'm just going to work on something else. No, I think Final Price. Fantasy actually requires, like, quite a bit of attention. I know, but what of Because the podcast is rather uh, uh, complex. Uh, uh, hey, guess what? Uh, I will attest for that Final Fantasy requires a lot of attention because I haven't been able to play it in a month. So uh -huh. I promise. Uh -huh. Yeah, I no, prom you got it. I promise. I got in. I got to level four. You and got it. It got to level four. Like, that takes 15 <laughs> minutes. I know, but the thing is, is like when we first started, it was like you fucking minutes. You paid like, money to play that I game for no, fifteen minutes. No, I didn't. Did you, you didn't? No, that was I'm the free war aisle. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you're fine. No, you were, that wasn't the free trial because you got invited to the free company. Yeah, I didn't pay. I didn't pay for a full month yet. Huh. If I did, May if I, I if I did, I didn't know when. Because you're but, in the free company right now, I think, unless you've been purged for inactivity because you haven't been because you logged in for one day and then left after and then left for two months. So, so I'm just going to say this is that, like, I really like the game. It's really fun. Um, I'm level 11. I'm still a small school boy. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a hot elf. And the entire time I was this hot elf, I was just looking at up her skirt. What? No, I wasn't. Um but I really like everything. You're really impressing everyone on this podcast I'm right now. To... 
I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, Josh is impressed. Josh likes looking up skirts. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, the elves in that game were super fucking yeah. cool. Because uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but the story from that game is great. Uh, like, uh, actually, I'm surprised by how good it is. There's a lot of man. I've been. I am. I'm usually super nitpicky about plot cohesion and like uh, plot holes in like a, a narrative. And there have been so many times where I've just been where I've taken a look at what's happening on uh, in the plot of this game and been like, and then asked like, okay, why isn't this happening? And then the characters address it because they're smart. And I'm like, okay. Fine. You're smart. You you win this round, game, and that's happened like four or five times. Right. I like it. I like, I like it a lot. Too. It's internally consistent. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. It's not weighed down by needless melodrama. Mm. I think it's a the, the the main story is a little low stakes, but that's a, ma a matter of opinion. I feel, and I'm certainly not dissatisfied with it. I am so, so dissatisfied. Yeah, it's fun with it. It's the worst thing on the planet. You'll like you'll think the elves are a lot cooler once you get to the first expansion because that's all about the fucking elves. Okay, so I picked the right class because I don't like dragons. I picked the right. I picked the right race then. Maybe I mean the race okay. doesn't really matter at all. All I know is that, and unless oh. you're a potato, then you're <laughs> subhuman. I was gonna. And if you're a healer, and if you're a healer potato, you're extra subhuman. Potatoes are like the small little wee boys, right? The Lala okay. I was yes. debating about like kicking. Like I wish you could kick them. <laughs> I feel there should be an emote where you get to kick all the girls. Square Enix, I will pay. I don't care how much you charge for an emote that lets me kick Lalafells. I will pay. I will pay infinity dollars in order to be able to kick any Lalafell I run into. You'll have my continuous subscription. <laughs> never, I will never unsubscribe. <laughs> Holy fuck. Even when you're done playing and you were like, haven't thought of this game for five months, you just go well, like, why am I still subscribed to this? Mm -hmm. Oh, right, the emote. Right. <sighs> I still can't. I can't, still can't. I, I gave survive. my word. <laughs> <laughs> the contract has been made. I cannot betray yeah, it at this much. point. <laughs> so what else have we got to talk about? Uh, Did we, we didn't have a topic. Uh, oh shit, motherfucker! I remembered. Okay, so last week on the podcast, I was very tired. I said some stupid bullshit, but that's not what I want to talk about. The reason is because I was very tired. I forgot about something I really wanted to talk about. So, in between playing Final Fantasy, as I have been the past like in between of playing months, Final Fantasy and jerking off, yes. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucker, you assume I can't do both at the I same you time? Can. <laughs> you can click on all the icons. You can play one-handed. Actually, I, have, I actually bought an MMO mouse so I can activate most of my abilities. That just with my sounds like alone. the more nerdiest bullshit ever. So I can definitely jerk off oh. while I play. Jerk off to my DPS numbers. Of course. <laughs> That's a... Anyway, sorry. So aside from that tangent where I was also oh rudely interrupted, um... I've been on this bender of watching videos on this game called Kenshi. And I don't know if any of you guys have heard this or play, heard about heard of this or played this, but that game like just triggers something in my brain that makes me want to play it so goddamn badly. It's this sort of weird simulationist post-apocalyptic thing. Where it's sort of an, it's like got a lot of RPG elements, but you can like build a colony, but you have to like manually recruit people. It's so fucking weird, and people get their legs chopped off, and it's ultra brutal. And I've watched so many videos of people just sort of like, like recording their stories of playing the game because so much can fucking happen in it that, like, man. I you really want to get wanna... my hands on this game because I feel like, like I could it? sink hours into this. You want to like the videos? I want to see what this is all about. Uh, sure, I can start linking videos. There's a lot that just, I've been just, watching. Just, uh, just link me a couple. I'll link you the first in this um... trilogy setup, whatever it is. He'll link, he'll link you something. <laughs> 
I will link you something. Probably. Maybe. I'm just trying to find like some of the videos that I watch because I'm just I just like sort of. All right. This is like this guy who's like usually a uh, league streamer. Yeah. Okay. Here's here's the, the start of a series of <clears throat> just a guy like uh, sort of playing. Uh, oh shit! No, that was the wrong playlist. Regardless, that guy's got some good stuff. There's also this. Oh, what's what's his name? This is a YouTuber called Pixel. Sorry, uh, I was muted my sound there. Self there. Uh, there's this YouTuber named Pixel Rook who's got a, a an ongoing series uh, on it right now. Where he's just uh, playing through the game with uh, with his character Rook and just sort of like narrating what uh, what occurs uh, in post. Here's the first episode of this of that. He's also got a similar uh, series uh, on RimWorld, where he just like has a uh, a setup and then plays through it and then sort of like narrates the actions in post uh, and sort of builds a, a builds a narrative around the uh, the occurrences. It's very interesting. Sounds very interesting. Kind of interesting. Um. Yeah. So I'm I'm list I'm listening. I'm at, but I'm I'm uh also watch this video very quietly in the background and I'm. Already just super interested in what the okay. fuck this is. Like I said, it's it's well, I mean it's a game that's available on Steam, so just proud, like if you're interested, fucking pick it up. Can she do I have this I think I've said this before. I'm like, do I have this game on my Steam list? The only, the only person on or my only... on my friends list who has it is Serio, which makes sense because the first thing I uh, I I thought when I saw this game is this is a Serio game. Because okay, Serio is my um is one of is our a, other online friends. Uh one of Quiz. my online friends who is a shut in who basically he's a shut in who lives in a in a, in a basement in Texas and is probably a drug know. dealer, but that's Maybe not really we're important. Not sure. <laughs> like I don't have any legitimate proof, but he has to go out for deliveries at weird times. Like deliveries. Like two in the morning. I also uh, I I actually also can see why this would be totally a serial game. Yes. It's a game that uh, basically it's really hard to succeed at a low level unless you're an opportunistic bastard. Like, oh, those two dudes are fighting. I'm going to wait till one guy knocks out the other and then take a shit. Yep. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Either way, it's really interesting. And I've seen like loads of, uh, of people just like putting up videos of them sort of like building a story out of what happened. Uh, while they were while they were playing, that's cool. I think it's a really interesting game. Is what I'm saying. It's got a lot of mechanical depth to it. Okay. Yeah, that sounds cool. So yeah, highly recommend uh, that anyone checks that game out. Because I would love. I think there's like might be a sequel planned for it though don't but don't quote me on that i don't i know next to nothing about the development of this game all i know is the game itself that has been like i'm uh, trying to understand that game has uh sated uh, a lot of my curiosity for it that's cool <clears throat> regardless do we have anything else to talk about on the podcast well everyone's uh, looking well, at this i was going to talk about something um. <laughs> uh, kind of near and dear to my heart uh, so I had also, so I think that it's kind of important that we do something that 
is very important to me, but not important to everyone else, probably. Um, but I was just going to sit there and I was going to say, ask anyone if there's any games that they would like to recommend during the Steam sale. What? Uh, Baba you? is you. Yeah. Uh, games you would recommend during the sale. What's actually on oh, sale right now? Uh, a bunch of shit. Uh... Ooh, Fuck. Sleeping Dogs is like two fifty. Yeah, that's like real two cheap. Two bucks and fifty cents. Um, get that. That game was pretty. That game's pretty fun. It's like an open world sort of GTA style crime sandbox thing, except uh, it's, in it's in like. Uh, Oh, fuck. Hong Kong is, is it on Hong Kong? Okay, yeah, it's in ha uh, it's in Hong Kong. I thought it was I thought it was in San Francisco. No, it's nope. it's definitely not. That's it's definitely that's not the American. other game no. you're thinking of. Um, it and yeah, it's like but except you don't really have access to guns at all. So instead of that, you you have to like use kung fu moves to beat up all the criminals. And the plot is that you're an undercover cop, uh, trying to like take down like the triads. Mm-hmm. It's it's a pretty good story, and uh, your big end game superpower is you get a handgun. <laughs> uh, gun you is... know, power of gun is pretty strong. Guns are the great equalizer. Oh, also, it's yep. got like brutal finishing moves. Because uh, like you have they're to pretty, beat the shit out brutal. of dudes, and you get more points if you like combo them into like environmental objects uh sort of mad world style except there's not really like a huge emphasis placed on it and there's some brutal ones like there's one where you just throw a guy onto like a car that's have had its engine block taken out and it's like hanging on a crane over it and you throw the guy into the into the, like the the uh, front of the car and then drop the crane and the entire oh, engine geez. block just crushes them blood goes everywhere it's fucking metal as shit i think the best one best finisher i like is you punch a dude up against a phone booth you keep knocking him up against the phone booth over and over the phone falls and you grab the phone and, and the you start smashing him over the face with the yeah. phone and i'm like that's insult to injury and i love yeah, it no. <laughs> some of their some of them are fucking brutal uh, yeah it's like it's you worth, don't need to do that with a phone but that's great though <laughs> it's worth checking out it's very much sort of like in the vein of like gta with like uh ex- with um, like sort of the crime in a bit in a big open world city type deal, but um, it very much changes the gameplay up by being like more about kung fu than shooting dudes. Okay, that's cool. What else is on sale? I'm trying to think of. Oh, like, well, I got a game that I'll recommend, and you guys will probably. Uh, so DMC is on sale this week. Uh, for. Five. DMC one or DMC five. Yeah. No. I mean, okay. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to go into it again because I marked up, uh, I marked out about uh, DMC Five enough a couple podcasts ago. But yes, if you have any interest in action games whatsoever, fucking get DMC Five. It's fucking great, mm, great. I had to yell at Keelan because, uh, well, he's been playing DMC Five and he's actually super into it. But we we got into arguments over like tiny mechanical differences between this and other character action games. He is of the opinion that the game should have a dedicated dodge button. I told him that was stupid. I agree with he him. He was stupid for thinking it. I. That is <laughs> well, actually no. Let me. Uh, that was uh, you're mostly wrong. correct. That is mostly a correct. You assessment. realize the ju- the goddamn jump has iframes. You have a dodge roll. You just have to be locked on to okay. use it. There's no the DMC has too much mechanical depth to have okay. a dedicated dodge button, motherfucker. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> God damn it, Jeff! Stop no, backing I was just, down I was, the moment I, was gonna I start sit yelling there, at you. I was going to say like, because like I haven't actually played the game yet, so I like. Oh okay. Yeah, because like I think do, the, we can, like, we the big thing that I'm going to like grind gears with is probably all of V's gameplay. Because it it sounds really boring really? to me. I actually find V's gameplay okay. is super active. Like, I don't like. Why, why no, do you think? It'll yes, be boring? it's because, because you're controlling, controlling summons, summons, and basically, and it's like from what it sounds you. like, it's like you don't do any actual damage, you don't do any fighting, and then you just walk up and s- execute the demon, and it's like okay. No, no. I mean, okay, so like. 
your pets can be AI controlled if you put <laughs> meter into it. But even when you put meter into it, controlling them manually is better in literally every scenario. Like everything the panther does is bound to your melee attack button, and everything the bird does is, uh, bird does is bound to your ranged attack button. Like you have to be very active with those. In fact, I think there it's even like even more to manage, because enemies will more often than not target you as V, and you have to know when to use your defensive options with the creatures and when to send them out. Because if you use your defensive options with your summons, like your 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 slide or your back dash, it pulls the creature back to you, which means it's okay. no longer out there doing damage. All right. It's a lot to manage. Uh, I was gonna recommend. I want I want to recommend some games, but um, I know my games are all strategy games, so I know nobody's going to buy them. Divinity Original Sin Two Definitive Edition is forty percent off. I've not played uh, I've not played um, Definitive Edition, but I would like uh, to say the base game is good enough on its own. So I imagine that's the, the one I have. So also worth it. <sighs> I would recommend actually. Because I've seen a lot of people play it. Because I I don't have yeah, time. Yeah, nerd. To play it. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. There's one that uh, you should buy. I would like to recommend, even though it's not on sale because it's just released, um, Steel Division Two. It's a really big grand strategy game and stuff like that. Like really grand strategy. Um. Yeah, you you basically play the German army trying to fight the Russian army. Uh, in 1943 when they make their counter and stuff like that, and you have to f somehow find a way to win. That is the campaign of Steel Division 2. Have fun. <laughs> um, by the way, there's new tutorial. The tutorial is uh, you have to hold off the Russians. Um, what else could I recommend? Damn, Space Russians. Not even Space Russians, just Russians. Just regular Russians? Yeah. I would recommend. I, I, also, I, I also want to recommend Tyranny. Tyranny is not a bad game. Tyranny, Tyranny is fucking great. Yes, I've been watching a couple. Of, I've watched a couple of people play. I actually really enjoy the like the aesthetic look of it. God, um, like Tyranny just came out, and since it was like sort of lower profile, not a lot of people knew about it. But fucking hell, does that crush every like fantasy game with like a morality system ever? What uh, Tyranny? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, you don't get good boy points in that game. You have to make hard decisions. Shit uh, who sucks. Do, who, who do I want to Shit side with? The, the, uh, the, the legionary cohorts or the uh, religious rebels? Oh, well, the legionary cohorts sound really awesome. It's like, yeah, except they are brutal, oppressive, uh, brutal, repressive regime. In, in what way? Oh, yeah, that man who just stole bread? Yeah, he's up for execution. Oh, uh, well, what about the religious zealots? Oh, yeah, that man would be de would be dead the moment he stole that bread. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, these are, by the way, these are the good guys, in quotations. Yep, yep. Um, by the way, you are, you are a representative from their boss, and then just, you just show up, like, like, I watched the first, like, hour, like, three hours of gameplay where like you basically show up in the, the area with the, these two factions and all you do is you walk up to the two factions and they just, you pull out a scroll and as you read it it causes a spell to spawn and then then in the back of your mind you suddenly realize oh shit that's a spell that basically means if we don't do this job in eight days everyone in this valley dies fuck <laughs> Uh, and I love and I love the reaction to bo how both leaders react to it too just like they pause and they're like huh that lights a fire in our asses. Shit. Well, we better not stop. We better stop squabbling. And then, it, and then, right before you do the, like that. By the way, this is the end of the tutorial. As you finish the tutorial, they get they start a civil war, and you're just like Josh is recommending guys, Monster Girl Pro Log. Josh, do you want to explain it? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? No. Oh, I just I, it literally showed up on my front page for some fucking reason. I'm like, why is this here? But this is funny, so I'm just gonna post it. <laughs> um, this, actually, is I would almost, also, I this is almost as bad as the time oh. we talked about the gay orc game. 
Oh yeah, the Georg game that has bad UI. Oh, so oh, bad. I have a really bad UI. <laughs> it's so bad and confusing. Like Jesus. Well, I mean, it's a game you about looking wanna... gay orcs. Why would they? Why would they do Clearly. the UI? That's just gonna get in the way of the gay orcs. But the th but the funny thing is, this game has tons of amounts of story in it, and the UI is painful to play oh, through. That's a bummer. By the way, uh, yeah, so I, like... I actually do have one more game I want to recommend before we, before you kind of kill us, just really quickly. Uh, uh, I oh god, we've been going yeah. for an hour. Yeah, uh, I, I, I want to recommend um, Dwarf Fortress. It's coming out soon uh, because time is subjective. It's already been released. <laughs> Fuck, you. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Time is subjective. I want to recommend play, Dwarf Fortress. I'm like, oh, okay, I just found Nintendo. out about Dwarf Fortress it. or something, and it's like it's coming out soon. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Dwarf Fortress has been out for like. Like I, I'm pretty sure more than a decade at this point. It's like it's because time is subjective. Uh, okay, fuck them. <laughs> time is. You were, you were hyped for me too. I know. I was. Were, I was like, you, okay, that's cool. A, I was like, oh, that's you, cool. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, he's being a shit. <laughs> he's being I, a shit. Time is subjective. It, it actually is legit on my wish list. I'm waiting for it to release on Steam before I play it because, like, I yeah. Um, and I'm fucking like, guys, just fucking release the game. We know you have the game done. Stop digging with us. Uh... Right. Oh, holy shit. Redeemer is only a dollar. Yep. What's Redeemer? Huh? So, you know, the games like um, the Hotline Miami and is it the one where, um, they get, where like you get told what to do by D.Va. No, this one's a different like offshoot of the same idea because Redeemer is about you used to being a gangster turn into a monk and then the gangster people come back to go, no, we need you. And they're like, fuck off. And so you start killing them <laughs> like mobs and mobs of people you're killing <laughs> over and over because you're like, no, I want to be a fucking monk. And they're like, no, you're coming back. Wait, so that's the whole story. Oh, is this the one with the really cool trailer? <laughs> yeah. No, Wait, hold, on, so it's hold, up. Up. hold up. Time out. Okay, so I follow a group on YouTube called CGI Masters. That got posted on there because and like, what? That's a game. I've known about Redeemer. Redeem I've known about Redeemer for like three years. What? The you didn't know it was a game. No. Cause <laughs> like, well, get it now, bro. It's a dollar fifty. I, I, I'm getting it now. Um, <laughs> the, but the problem was, is like when, when it got when, when I'm adding all the DLC to my cart too. Um, but um, when when I first saw that video, I was like, that's a really cool thing. It's a cool CGI project because it was like I think like the trailers where it's just him sitting in in a temple. Smack, uh, like smacking his hammer against the ground or something like that. While people are like, "Things like I left that life behind," and uh, and I, it seems like my past is catchy. I would be. It cuts in. It shows Redeemer on the screen. I was like, "That's a really cool trailer." Damn, that'd be a really cool movie to watch. Fuck, I'm retarded. <laughs> You're welcome. I put this back in your Yo, life. Like, Thank you, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I was having a cough. I was having a coughing fit. Just let, just let it be. <laughs> I had my mic up and I was having a coughing fit, so I couldn't jump back in. But I want you to know, I yelled out seconded when Alan said, "Fuck, he's retarded." I agree. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna lie so, down. Do, I'm dying. Do, 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 duly noted from the from the pilot. Like, what the fuck? The peanut gallery seconds the motion. <laughs> oh. But uh, I want to say my actual official game to recommend through this through this stupid sale, I would say get uh, not Redeemer, but get Ruiner. Ruiner that's is the, the other one where offbeat. You've got, like, yeah, you. that's okay. I forgot the title. That entirely. one, I. Yeah, it's, it's it, they're both very similar to the point. I'm like, I wonder to trying to rip each other I, off or something, maybe. but I don't know. Nah, maybe I think that's enough. Just uh, yeah, like aesthetic wise, and the fact that Rede Ruiner has like a lot of guns and shit. Uh, As, yeah, I mean, I like, remember the cooler, best friends I think, did a video on that, monster. and then everyone in the comments section lost their shit because the diva girl. That's the thing I saw. Alan, sorry, no, did, no. The, 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 did I? Sorry, did I interrupt the beginning of your no, sentence no, with the middle no. of mine? No, fuck no, you! Yes, fuck yes, you! Yes, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! Guys, you guys need a hug. Fuck you! <laughs> No, that's gay. And this is 30 minutes of just them going, going, fuck you, back and forth. Uh, but yeah, no, like, that, dude, 
Sorry. I'm, I'm, just, I'm mad. Because I've known about this game for fucking two years. I didn't know it was a big what, game. What, Redeemer or Ruiner? Ruiner? No, 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 no. I, I fooled you. Now everyone thinks you're an idiot. This was not Khaleesi. I did bad He said people start with R. They all spell Fuck. They both start with R and have big red font. Yes. And they're both, they both look very they both similar. Have, both, re, both have red font and both have like fucking red aesthetic in the game. Big red aesthetic. <laughs> Big red. One's like fantasy red. One's like fantasy red, and one's future yeah. red. The red, Total the red difference. timelines are the worst timelines. Oh, always. They're never the blue cool ones that are sci-fi, and it's like, oh, it's it's utopia. Red oh. Timelines are the worst timelines. Change my mind. Uh, okay, uh, uh, okay. I, I, I will I will point out that technically, Imperium of Man is the blue timeline. Just so you know, the Imperium of Man is the gold timeline. Shut your no, 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 mouth. no, no. The, Imper- the Imperium of Man, when the Emperor is around, is the gold timeline. The moment the Emperor is put on the gold throne, it becomes the blue timeline. Because, by the way, that is the best possible timeline that can come out of that situation. And that shit. Imagine how much worse it is the other way. Yeah, it's because 40k everything Could, sucks all the time forever. The blue Guys, timeline. Can we have a blue? Can I have pink timeline? No. It's no, gay. Oh, you already have the pink timeline in your porn but, museum. But everyone's so happy in no, it. No, one, no one's happy. <laughs> Josh, you've already got your pink <laughs> timeline. It's your goddamn art museum where you have jizz paintings all over the wall. <laughs> and there's a menacing aura. And no one wants to go in there. And you find other so more disturbing go... museums to inspire you to greater heights of degeneracy. People walk in and go, oh, this museum has a distinct smell. Part of the aesthetic of the museum is the smell. Man. Man, I, lo- I really love the jizz aesthetic of this museum. <laughs> Welcome to the ba- Black Mind Podcast, episode 205, jizz aesthetic. Oh, there we go. That's the that's the name, jizz aesthetic. Or Josh's jizz aesthetic. It's quick. Talk about jizz. <laughs> 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 you, know, you raise a balance. <laughs> no, no, is there anything else to talk about? Honestly, yeah, we're done. Oh, I think so. I guess. Okay. Have a good night, guys. What a good podcast. Thank you, listening to every everyone. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening to Black Mind Podcast. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> That's always what we do. Um, thank you, everyone, for listening to Black Mind Podcast. You can listen to us every Thursday on blackmindgames.podbean.com. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes or your podcasting app of choice. Have a good night. I gotta start recording. All right, yeah, you should probably be recording if you want to like preserve this crazy tangent about naked chicks and probably, probably recording now. dicks. Probably. All right, gotta turn down my audio again. One, two, one. Yep. Okay. So driving. How does so, how okay. does how does Jeff mix up sad and die? <laughs> because it's Jeff. Jeff, he is a anyway. special person. Occupy White Walls, MMO art gallery, <laughs> but there's very light on video game, other than you can interact I with. I would imagine, yeah, other than being able yeah. to draw dicks on stuff. <laughs> yeah, but the, here's the funny thing. You don't have the ability to draw dicks, but you have the ability to make your own gallery, which can be a giant dick if you want, or you can uh, go find paintings about giant dicks, or you can... Um, get pixel panels kind of like light brights and draw dicks on those ah so so there, you can draw as many dicks as you want uh now here's the thing though i want a classy 
<laughs> I want classy dicks in my, glar- uh, in my gallery. Only the Not most just art- poorly only like the top 1% of artistic dicks. <laughs> exactly. I want Van Gogh dicks. I want Pollock dicks. I want just the finest in dicks. Like that's that's and, the second Jackson Pollock reference I, I've heard in three days. <laughs> what? <laughs> Both involved dicks. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, but anyway, so as I'm starting out in this game, I'm like, oh, just figuring out the controls, figuring out how the game works, figuring out how the, they're thinking about doing the, going about designing this video game. It's so weird. And I'm like, oh, this is so rad. And as uh, more time went on, I would start playing in the game more and more. I'm like, I'm going to collect every naked portrait on this game. I don't care if it's a man. I don't care if it's a female. I don't care if it's transgender. It has to be if it's a female and they're still clothed, they have to be topless. If it's a male, I sure hope they're wearing very little. <laughs> so uh, okay. I just went out and went through every single gallery I could trying to find the most All naked the people I could. <laughs> And, and and I was like, OK, so this whole area, just like the back, like my whole back of the gallery, nothing but just n- like half naked people, full naked Wait, people. Wait, hold on. What's in, the front? Classy... What's, what's in the front of your of your gallery? Oh, it, so, so you've so got, the you've got the gallery. Josh section in the back. But what's what's what do you front load it with to ease people into your degeneracy? <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It's kind of like a hard whiplash because I got like, oh, I know these are Van Gogh, so I'm going to collect these. Oh, I know these are like, again, Pollocks or whatever. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to get those. And oh, I recognize this artist, so I'm going to get this shit because I love it. And so at the front of it is like typical. It's like but a normal art gallery. Barrier, it's like the background of like a spy movie at some point when you're like talking about exchanging information. No, and then it just like goes the fl- into the hard porn. <laughs> As soon as you cross that threshold in the freaking old rental the store, aura the of the entire <laughs> museum changes, and you realize yeah, you could, it, it's the walls are painted black. <laughs> the walls are painted black. There's signs all over the wall, all over the place, saying "Don't do not drill holes." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I love. Like, I, I love. I, 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 I love the idea of the, of, of a sexual connotation being attached to the uh, to the phrase "do not drill holes." You will, I, I should you make... will be assaulted by genitals if you drill holes. I, I should make that as an artsy like art statement. Like if I ever make my own gallery, I'll put that somewhere. Dick, do not drill Dick. holes just to start. Like as soon as you come into the gallery, and if so, you just have a guy hired to just stick his dong through if you do if someone does drill holes <laughs> but, but so yeah like i'm just making this gallery and it's like oh man like it's such a heart like i also have made it two stories tall because i played this game as, as much as i could to get as much space as i want and so yeah it's like there's you know the first part of it is like oh this is so nice to look at and the second part of it is like oh yeah this is still nice to look at and then when you finally g- hit that threshold and go through it you're like oh, oh. you collected a lot of oh, these no. <laughs> oh. oh wow there's a lot oh, wow, this is, oh there's a uh, this is, there's i was a not lot. mentally prepared for this <laughs> <laughs> but now here's another kicker there's like several other people on this video game doing the same thing I'm doing, but being less tongue, but like way, way less, less subtle. tongue about it. <laughs> I was gonna like say tongue cheek, in cheek, but like I was like, I, I know what he was trying to say, but because I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure I was saying it right. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was saying the freaking like uh, the wording <laughs> right on that one, but tongue in cheek would be correct, but, yes. Okay, okay, so said, like the people... <laughs> way less tongue about it is... <laughs> I'm going to use that phrase. I'm stealing that. Go right ahead. Man, I'm make way it, less make it tongue popular. about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sean man. Boyden. But uh, freaking these other people's galleries are just straight up like, this room, black people. This room, Asian people. <laughs> and you go, why is it all different races? You walk in, it's just naked people. <laughs> of that race and you're like oh and then you walk over here and it's like fetish and you're like okay and then you walk over there and it's like um ah freaking just like just female and it's it's like jeez i was trying to be like 
normal about no, it. There, and people are no, just there's like, a, nah. there's a certain nobility into just turning your rooms in your art gallery into fucking Boru tags. <laughs> Oh no, we're just no, we're, we're just, just, we're I'm just recording because this is amazing. Yep. I'm just talking we're about talking a about game art, I think I've Jeff, you wouldn't understand. Yes. Uh, uh, we're, ta uh, we're talking about a video game <laughs> with art. <fuck. laughs> Give me a minute, I'll be right back. Oh wow, Alan, what a disappointment. But Frick, like we're just again, like, about this, is, this one guy dicks. <laughs> Those yeah, two and this one guy in his the same thing at this point. <laughs> and this one guy has his art gallery set up so that there's some wanking stations. Wait, how do you like, make wanking stations in this game? He so that's the thing. He just, just put have up like cubicles. Stands with tissues on them. <laughs> no, he puts up little cubicles with like the re, like the most like hardcore painting of like classical art paintings he so could. You just have a little and he just put time it in with each it. one. <laughs> All, so he, all I was doing, so, by the way, was just grabbing my phone charger because it's nearly dead. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm ah, just drazzing. But yeah, but it's, but it was like frick. The, like you gotta like. I love how the guy. There's the guy. The other guy I'm talking about. He collected way more stuff than I did. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna come oh, back yeah, here. This, this guy's like, <laughs> he is. He's next level in his degeneracy. Teach me the ways. Yeah, I was like. I was like, well, the funny thing is, in the game, the only other way that you can collect art is either through other people's galleries or you get it through your personal, I forget what they call it, but you hit the, I call it your personal uh, algorithm uh, search category thing. Oh, because you can't really recommend search paintings for you based on like other stuff? Yeah, exactly. So I, you hit the P button in this game, and you brings up this your own recommended list of like nine ish paintings, and it's like, oh, here's some you know ones that are you know all different looking, and you start picking them, and they start randomizing the pictures depending on what you pick. Again, I try to pick as many naked people as uh. possible, and it's still not giving me naked people. <laughs> and I'm like, you, you gotta Come find on, a way this to turn. Be obvious, give me the naked people. <laughs> you gotta find a way to turn the safe search off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm like, They're like, you, please, please take anything that's not someone naked. And you're like, no, <laughs> give me their body <laughs> in the most artsy way possible. Like ballerina dancing naked while they're, <laughs> while like some buff dudes are just like doing the same ballerina movements, but are. <laughs> But they're all, but they're all like just again, just naked. I'm like, yes, <laughs> naked, <laughs> naked ballerinas, naked male ballerinas. Or if they can wear like I don't know, fucking gypsy sh shit or something, you know, like the be belly dancers. That's pretty hot. Like that's pretty hot. I mean, I'm gonna, <laughs> not gonna like argue with you that belly dancer gear is hot, but maybe not less so on male ballerinas in in a they fucking don't art gallery. <laughs> <laughs> don't knock it until you don't knock it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we made we made the museum white by default because we know what you're going to use this for. <laughs> we can't have it dark. What if someone brings in a black light? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Actually, if you do it just right, the glowing patterns will also be like a freaking, you know, painting picture right there. Just, just the freaking human jizz. I mean, what, are you, what are you talking uh, about? No, that'd be so cool if someone brought yeah, a black yeah, light and they're like, brought a black light and saw the jizz, man. Wouldn't that be cool? Haha. <laughs> no, no, John. no, it'll be a painting with human jizz. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like how you were like trying to convince me like no no it's fine it's just a painting I'm like alright out of human jizz no this is the problem Josh be so, this be is so where you're going too far a black light. they don't know what they're seeing until they see the whole oh, picture fuck. and go oh it's a painting <laughs> Yeah, they just have to they just have to get over their disgust long enough to appreciate the artistry of this. Exactly. <laughs> this this, oh, this, God, I come this Welcome to the Black Mind Podcast episode 200. Yet, what the fuck are you doing? Paintings. Can we sink can we sink first before we commit to this? Yeah.
I, I, I have one more topic I have to. I have one more thing I want to mention. So, did you guys hear about the CBC <laughs> News article where the British Columbia nurse uh, gave? Wait, is a, this like a topic for the podcast? No. Or you? Oh, okay. Did you guys hear about this? <laughs> the birds and the beads. No. Oh. Uh, I think you I, linked it, but I didn't. I was like, uh, too long, didn't read. Um. Uh, you should click on it. I did click on it, but I didn't read it. Just look at the pictures and tell me how fucked up this yeah, is. Yeah, I know. This it's like a bird with some anal beads graders. and a frog licking another frog's asshole and like a spider and a fly doing some weird bonded shit. So what? what is this? I... I... Uh, well... Uh, you know what? What grade? So is this? Is, are, are these pictures here like the actual like curriculum material that's being taught to kids? No, they're not supposed to be, but uh, they were given to your kids. That's stupid. I actually, yeah. I actually got um, sex education back when I was in second grade. Uh, the teacher had to explicitly ask all the parents if it was okay, and it was very much. It was very. It was very much a clinical thing, where. Uh, like the maybe not so much the act was described, but sort of what happened. Like I, I, I it's, in second grade, I understood how a pregnancy functioned, how like a sperm fertilized an egg and all that jazz. I just yeah. didn't understand where that that penor going vagina to make it happen. You don't learn that till grade ten. No. Nope. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't learn that until I started watching TV that I wasn't supposed to watch. You mean like everybody else? Yeah. 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 Pop culture taught me how to fuck. <laughs> it exactly. So well. Or maybe not how to fuck, but how, 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 like, that fucking was a thing. The sex was a thing. Uh, oh. All right, let's sync real quick. Okay, sync in. <laughs> Three, two, one.